excited to get back to work. It seems like, uh, you know, just like that, we're, we're back and playing games again and um, disappointing the way the season ended last year. But um, we're excited to be back in front of our home fans now and uh, have another fun season. Dan told us that he told <clears throat> players to stop saying Super Bowl, stop talking about Super Bowl. Um, you've kind of lived your life one week at a time. It's this team, then it's the next team, then it's the next team. But is it hard? when expectations are where they are not to peak at the big picture sometimes you know it, it, it can be I, I think for us we're in such a unique position where where we were you know not very long ago at the bottom of this whole thing and um, have worked ourselves up to get to where we are now to have those expectations and and in a lot of ways earn those but you get, you, we know you got to earn it every week and and you know we've been like I said on the other side of it where we're just trying to find a way to win and and, and now we feel like we've got a pretty good team and great coaches and have a chance to make some makes noise this year but um, it doesn't happen unless you win the first one and then the second one and so on and so forth. What does the experience of winning, of enduring everything you guys did last year, of getting to that NFC Championship do for a team, in particular young players who, who yeah. are figuring out what it is to win in this league? Yeah, I think it, it comes down to those moments late in the game when the game's going to go one way or the other. Is it a third down or a fourth down? Um, you know, you get that stop, the offense gets it back, you finish out the game on offense. Those little quick moments right there are typically the difference in the game and our guys recognizing when those are and, and, and really you know dialing in is, is the difference. You start off with the Rams. Obviously, you guys just face them. Everybody knows the storylines. And I just wonder, you know, it's going to be hype again. I, I thought about you going into last year's game, and I thought, man, how in the world does he pull this together and just play with everything going on around him? And all you do is come out and complete 10 straight passes and score touchdowns in your first three drives. How do you just settle it all down? Yeah, it's, it's different this year, certainly, with um, – it not being a you know playoff game that, that that does change things a little bit. It still is you know a very important regular season game for us, and um, certainly an NFC opponent makes it even more impo important. But for me, it was always last year and will remain this year about our team and and my teammates and the coaches and how can I be my best for them. Um, it's got nothing to do with who we're playing. Obviously, it's my former team, a lot of former teammates and coaches, but it's got nothing to do with them. It's about me and and our team and 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 our coaches and how I can be at my best. What is it like to look at a Rams defense without Aaron Donald? Yeah, it's a lot better. <laughs> it's, it, it's, a lot e it's a lot easier to prepare for, that's for sure. And that's not to say they don't have a lot of great players over there. But when you got a guy like him in the middle of that defense, uh, it, it certainly takes a lot of your energy getting ready. And, and I know our coach's energy, you know, designing plays around that. But, um, you know, they've got some some – uh, butt kickers up front still uh, and, and they drafted a couple that are pretty good players as well so we've got our hands full certainly thought on the offense where do you get better you guys have been really good going on two years now uh, third year now you try to expand it even more where do you get better yeah I think it's just consistency and and just pushing ourselves to be um, more complete and, and you know not having lulls in games and drives and, and throughout the season but you know ultimately like throughout the, throughout a game how many if we get 60 snaps how many of those 60 snaps can we execute them how we want to um, and last year it was better than the year before and this year can it can it be better than that evolution of Ford Field from maybe when you walked in here in 2021 to where it is now, which I think is probably one of the biggest weapons in this league. Yeah, it really is. It's it's turning into one of the best home atmospheres in the league, and um, it's a credit to our fans. They've stuck beside us and obviously went through some hard times together, and, and now we're on the other side of it where they can feel uh, you know pretty excited about what we have going and um, be loud for us on Sundays and make a true difference in the game, and, and I know they realize that, and it, it really does help us win.